Nem te tárolod. This was in January. The big stores, two big stores. Uh, Jay and Trula Jr. With his daddy, Bill B.C. Moores, and also I didn't know this, but it was the first song, um, besides B.C. Moores, was a dime store. Uh, it was on Barnhill, Barnhill Dime Store, where the lady shop was. Okay? I didn't know that. 1941, this was in February. Had a marble slab, and every time you go down Main Street at the corner of Church Street and Main Street, you had that slab. And Woody said last time he's got that slab in uh, his house. This is the way it looked, the one at the top, uh, the Truluck Stables, and after Mr. Truluck died, it became known as um, um, King and um, Edie, and then after that, it was uh, uh, Mr. Brown's uh, Stables, till 1940. In 1941, they built um, the B.C. Moore store. The band, 1941, we had a concert to show off the, the new uh, band, um, band instruments and also the band uniform. Uh, you had people like uh, Mr. Percy uh, Whitlock, um, Mr. R. L. Cockfield, Mr. Ed Roper, Abe Tommy, Sonny Hagen, <laughs> all these folks should be becoming more and more familiar with you. And this is what the uniform looked I wish you had a color picture. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact is, it was black and orange. Before <laughs> 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 we were black and gold, we were black and orange. <laughs> but you know they were proud of that uniform because they had white uniform to start with. You know, with a shirt and pair of pants and all that. Now they got a real uniform. Sarah Hagen, that must be Shay's mom. Yeah. This is Miss Sayer Hagen, which is Shay Rollins and Mr. Herbert Rollins' wife. Mm -hmm. Let's see the fire department. Remember last time we said that the fire got called in the, uh, uh, the fire department and had to pull out the two engines and one was blistered? This is the fire department. Mr. Raymond Askins, Mr. Ed Diggs, Richard Nettles, Walter Moody, Roy Rogers, Roy Rogers. 
The home guard. The home guard uh, was swore in. We had 74 men. And this was the progenitor of uh, the National Guard. Uh, four officers and uh, 74 men. And they met in the gym across the street to be swore in. All right, this is the home guard. Now, I've got, you can't see it. I know you can. I prepared a, I got a sheet for you if you want one. Okay? Got 20 copies. If we run out, I'll print some more afterwards, okay? I'm going to give it to you afterwards. Okay? But it's more than, this is more than 80 82 people. Okay? Okay. Seems like every year we have a junior senior. Uh, Miss Mary uh, Lee Flowers was uh, Miss Ed Roper. Uh, she was the president of the junior class. Catherine Lynch. Who was Catherine Lynch? Henry Johnson or uh, Mr. William Johnson's wife. Okay? Uh, she was a, a brand new school teacher. Yeah, people like Mary Gravely, which was Mrs. Randy Gravely's sister. Miss Lizzie Gravely's daughter. Miss Lizzie Gravely's daughter. Mr. Harry Wellhoff was always cutting up. You know? <laughs> Um, he was Uncle Sam. <laughs> now, you got to remember, 1941, what's going to happen December the 7th, 1941. We geared up for the war. You know, it was, it was war in Europe to start with. The war in Asia with China and Japan. So, we're gearing up. It's going to happen. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. so, this is uh, Ms. <laughs> Leslie, 1941. Now, we have a person in this crowd that uh, is in that picture. Mr. Harris Carter is in this picture. And I think, is that you? Or that you? And I bet Betty was in that group. Um, that looks like Betty right there. 1941 would be the class of 1953. Okay. But that was the graduating class of Miss Leslie. Leslie. Tracy, not Tracy. No, but she was the girl that got killed by Carolyn. Okay. Carolyn, right there. Wow, this is the senior class. You want to back up? This is my sister's class. Oh, yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> got all real coffee filled with hair. <laughs> okay. And it bats, the black like Will Will Johnson. Okay. Now some more. Let me see, i got to find my sister. There she is. John Preston Graham. Next to the bottom on the right. Sarah. Sarah Hagen. <laughs> Bad Hannah. She's got a bow ribbon in her face. <laughs> Jimbo Danport's mama. Who is Barbara King. Miss Dorothy Cockfield or Dorothy Mapp. Yeah. And this lady right here is Miss Patricia Hannah's 
Yeah. Here's some more. Is that a time? Abraham. 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 Here, Whitlock was uh, Mr. Harris' cousin. Was that Ann's granddaddy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Here's the basketball team. Uh, 1941. Look at the muscles on these guys. This happens to be the star. These guys here that doesn't have the uniform of the juniors. And these guys on the bench. <laughs> so who's, who's the coach? Oh, Russell Perks, the junior. He didn't picture the coach. Donald Jones. Ed Rupert, they, they on the back row, they were the, they were the B team. Yeah, the B team. These are the girls, and more girls and boys. Dorothy Mayo. Sarah Hagen. Sarah Hagen was high school. Sarah Lawrence Shetty. Oh, yeah. That's what was Derby used to say. <laughs> Mayor Lawrence. Two before from the left. That's all right. Sarah Baseball test. Dor Dor Dorothy Cox, who played basketball. We had 15 boys that went out for football. And a bunch of them went out for baseball. Oh, and the businessmen paid for their uniforms, and their uniforms were orange, orange and white. <laughs> 39 people graduated in 1941. Mm -hmm. uh, they had probably what we call uh, uh, the senior senior class recognition on all this was the senior class recognition. Hey, Tommy keeps popping up. You know. At the Rotary Club, giving out a war. And the BAR giving out awards. This was still before December 7th. This was still before December 7th. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now this is the class, okay? Dr. Garfield, John Press Graham, Barbara King or Barbara um Dad Boy. Charles Ed Roper, A. Dummy, Dr. Charles Timmons, James Percy Whitlock, and many others. That's not, that's not bad. 
Bad bro. The guard gets appropriated, and if you ride down um, Calhoun Street where the boys and club, boys and girls club is tonight, today, um, that was the um, uh, National Guard. But before the National Guard, we had this building built. Okay. And all these guys that are lieutenants went to the Citadel. And they had military training, you know. Can you see Earl Holloway giving somebody orders? <laughs> School starts September the 9th. Now, when does school start now? In the middle of August? Teachers go August 1st. Not the 9th. We had to get the back end. You know? September, Now, if you notice in the grammar school, can you find somebody that's married? <laughs> miss, 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 miss. Miss Ellen Ford told me that at one time it was mandatory that the teachers would be single. Yeah. They were not here. But in the high school it was okay because Miss Lizzie Gravely was a school teacher. She was a widow. Oh, yes, she was. And we had a brand new building. Had a brand new building. Sixteen classrooms. A large lunch room that would fill up when it rained. It still fills up when it rains. Yeah. And ate fish on Friday. Yeah, Miss yeah, yeah. Bell yeah. called it through it out the window. Going to I brought it up to class. Okay. I brought the snake. Yeah. 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 I brought the snake. Yeah, I can't respond. That is interesting. This is Miss Lizzie. Oh, Miss Johnson. Yeah. This is Miss um, Emily. Yeah. Miss John yeah. Gray. Yeah. Yeah. Miss yeah. William Johnson. <laughs> Who's to the left of this Johnson? I don't know. Who is that? They didn't give the names. This is Mr. Lloyd. Coach Milk Sap. Mm -hmm. How you pronounce his name? Who? What? Huh? What? Super? How you pronounce the principal's name? Schuster. 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 Oh, Schuster. Schuster. He, he, Mr. J. Paul Trudeau. He won't get burned up. His wife. Now you could have the high school faculty, you could have married folks. Joanne Crouch. 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 Okay. <laughs> the dogs being, you know, we 
we said last time the dogs, uh, what, about 45 dogs being destroyed in 1940, 1941. In two weeks, 65 dogs were destroyed. Oh, you know, if you had a dog, you had to watch out or the police will come and get it and cut the head off and send it to Columbia. <laughs> yeah, the mad dog scare every, every summer about. He's always been in trouble. Okay. Bill Sapp resigned for well, a better job. He was going into construction. Better job in construction. Do the construction work. Miss Steve Rogers. Mr. Steve Rogers lived on the corner of, um, of Landing, no, Manson and um, uh, Church Street. Uh, he was a grocer. He was a uh, uh, fireman, he was a uh, 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 mayor. Seventy-nine when he died, he was our first police chief in town. And right up here it was said chief. Yeah. Getting in September. Oh, June seventeenth or sixteenth. Jane Daniels was born. Hey, hey. I was afraid you don't miss that. Um, McCutcheon, each little community had their own school. And McCutcheon School was located where? Take a while, get it. On McCutcheon Road. Okay. Uh, 1941. Daylight Slavin's time was the first time. Okay? New time. What the paper said. Along with um, McCutcheon was the principal. Had two teachers. For the whole school. The young college men would entertain the ladies. <laughs> Mr. Harry Woodlock did not go to college until after 1950. But he entertained the ladies. <laughs> okay. Now, the, like I said before, the ones that are highlighted are the ones I know. Okay. And I'm not trying to be whatever. The folks that I don't know, I didn't, I didn't bowl them. So y'all may know them. You weren't born <laughs> Johnson Moore. Johnson Moore. Was a graduate of Furman. He took the um, place of it, Coach Millsap. And he was on the football team. 1940, just got out of college. He pitched for the Purple Hurricanes. That was the name of Furman, way back in the stick, way back in the day. The Purple Hurricanes. They are known as the Purple Power Lines today. Still purple. Straight numbers, the Methodist Church. It was advertised in the paper. Two hundred Methodists. 
This is the football team. Fifteen members. Okay? You gotta have eleven to play, so you had four on the sideline. Okay, building. Keep on, Lake City, keep on building. Mr. Roy Foy, Floyd, um, build his house on Thomas Street. Mr. Ed Bowen, down the street, on East Main Street. We had East, East Lake City and West Lake City. You know, it sounded like we're big, you know. <laughs> Watson Duke is on the east side of town. Henley <laughs> McVay, Ed Diggs, Mr. James Stewart, all lived on what they call Circle Court, which became known as Stewart Street in Lexington, North Lexington, South Lexington. Asbestos shingles. Mm -hmm. Who would want to build a house with asbestos shingles today? Cause it's cancer, they say. And Mr. and Mrs. Laird, which was Miss Annie Kellen, was Lot's father and mother. Oh. Mr. Willie Carr, over on the west side of town, in West Lexington. The Pilot Club has so many clubs in Lake City. We don't have many, many in Lake City today. You probably don't recognize a bunch of them. Mary Trey, remember the Travers? I lived right next door to us. Skating party, what they would do, they would block off a street and they would go skating on the street. Thomas Street was a favorite place because they had a bunch of kids on Thomas Street. The principal is leaving. Go and get an army. This is in October. Went down to Pensacola, Florida. But he finishes out the year. The Defense Force, that's what they call it. The South Carolina Defense Force. And he had a badge here and uniforms. Each man got a shirt, a tie, trousers, belt, cap, jacket, and shoes. Eighty-four of them. What's the difference between the defense force and the home guard? The same thing? Yeah, home guard and the defense force is the same thing. Same thing as the home guard. Ninety-two of them. What was the population of Lake City at that time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ken, what was the population of Lake City at that time? Mm -hmm. Probably between three and four 
thousand. You think that much? Yeah. I thought it was three thousand when I was in high school. Yeah. Well, we're not too far from. <laughs> <laughs> Nasser has spent some money. Each merchant has set up two or three to close the store every day at 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock on Saturday. Daddy used to say that he could have somebody in his chair. He was a barber. He could have it have somebody in this chair at 11.59 p.m. and he could finish it up. But at 12 o'clock, midnight, he had to close the shop. But other stores were open too to 10 o'clock? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You think about the tobacco. Think about the produce. But that was year-round or just during the summertime? That was probably year-round. What time did they open today? Oh, Daddy will open up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Until that Friday. Yeah. That Friday. And, then and the reason behind that is to let the young man go to church on Sunday. They had no excuse. That was the reason behind it. But really, actually, you got the National Defense Movement. You think Washington would want the young folks to go to church on Sunday? It was a movement. Observation tower. We had an observation tower. We had to watch out for the uh, the Japs and the uh, the, the Nazis uh, airplanes. And we would have 18 people volunteered to, to do it. And one of the volunteers was my mom and my sister. Okay, they would climb upstairs on in front on top of the uh, city hall and watch for airplanes. They would just be standing on the roof. They would stand on the roof. They wouldn't ask for the towel. They would just on yeah, the roof. right. Uh -huh. And this is getting close. The towel because the towel was over the jail. The back part. It was to the right. We had to climb up. Okay. That's the only picture I had. Okay. I climbed up there. Yeah. Okay. The Girl Scouts. We had a big group of Girl Scouts. And they were old Girl Scouts. And they went in the Citadel to watch the PC play. And in 1941, guess who was a freshman of PC? Freshman, PC, Earl Rollins. He was a freshman. I'm going to tell you this to start with so you can remember for next time, whatever. He is the only 16th letterman in the state of South Carolina. He, he lettered in every sport they had. Basketball, football, um, track, baseball. I didn't have tennis. He is the only, he was the first, Shay told me this, he was the first opposing quarterback to score a touchdown at that bat. Mm. To score a touchdown. War activities. Now this is December the 4th, 1941, three days before for Harlem. At 3,500 
So, comment through the next year. They were going through maneuvers. They were getting ready for war. Next time, 1942, 43, because all the men that we talked about tonight are either in college or off to the war. So we don't have that much news. Okay? Thank y'all for coming. We got uh, our home guard, the list of the home guard folks and refreshments.